Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is another week in my life vlog. This is from a couple weeks ago now, so behind. Um, yeah, I think it's from, this is like right after Easter, I guess. Um, so anyway, I'm just making myself a coffee like I usually do in the mornings. And then John was sick, so he had slept in the basement so that I wouldn't get sick. So I took my coffee back upstairs to hang out with Marley, which is her favorite thing. So I'm just up there kind of hanging out with her while I drink my coffee. And I decided to, I had a, quite a few episodes of General Hospital built up that I hadn't watched, so I decided to watch one of those while I waited, because John normally doesn't get up until a few hours after me, so, um, and plus he was sick, so we just did that to pass the time. And so on this particular day, we had gotten snow again. <laughs> Yay. It's funny because in this video, it's also like very spring-like. Um, but the perfect thing for a snowy day is some soup. So um, I was having some of this tomato basil soup that I'm obsessed with. Uh, I, took a, I did take a little break from it, but I noticed it was on sale. So I had bought like three or four cartons of it. So it's just like a very easy option to have. So... I was uh, having some soup and then I was also pressing some tofu. Um, tofu is kind of like a sponge, so if you squeeze the water out, it will absorb the things that you put in it. And we had been able to get a loaf of the sourdough that I love, so I decided to make a grilled cheese to go with that. Um, but we were just going to split it. And I had taken this... I'd frozen this cheese to see if it would hold up in the freezer, like taking it out, and it did. Um, but John was having some Mr. Noodles with um, his half. And I like putting onions in my grilled cheese, so that's what those little white pieces were, if you were curious. But this was the perfect cozy winter lunch, even though it was April. And then after lunch, uh, John was doing some photographing. Uh, we had gone out, I think, the night before and uh, sourced clothing. But look at this Christmas sweater I found. It's a Taco Bell Christmas sweater. And I just knew that it was going to be good. I think it sells between like $60 and $80 on eBay, which is crazy. So it was, that was probably my one of my best finds. But then I also found this Hello Kitty sweater that I had to get for myself. I just love it. It's a little bit um, big, but I just wear it around the house as like an extra layer, so it's fine. But I was doing my laundry, so that's why I wanted to go in and look for like anything that I had bought for myself so that I could wash it with my laundry, so part of me wanted to keep the Taco Bell <laughs> Christmas sweater for myself, but um, just given how much we could sell it for, it's like I'd rather have the money than <laughs> the sweater. Um, but I, I, like we bought it before I looked it up because I thought, well, if it's not worth much, I'll just keep it for myself. And then I was all the way upstairs when I realized I had forgot to close the washing machine. I do that so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, but then I felt like having another coffee at this point. I don't know. Lately, I've been drinking coffee in the afternoons. This might have been decaf, I guess. But lately, I have been drinking caffeinated coffee in the afternoons. I don't know why I'm so tired. But I was going to do a little bit of food prep. So I had these two packs of Beyond um, 
or like, I don't know, hamburger. I was going to make some burger patties out of it. And I forgot that I had this burger press. Um, I found it when I was like decluttering the kitchen. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll use that. But I didn't end up. But I was going to make these into like Big Macs. So I had this Thousand Island dressing, like just a little bit left. And I figured I would um, just go ahead and use that as the sauce because it's basically the same thing. I ended up not using the press. <laughs> I just did it by hand using the scoop so they were all even. So then I thought maybe I should just get rid of that press. But the press also makes like little mini burgers. And I was thinking, well, maybe someday you might want to make those. So for now I have it. But I just did the entire two packs. And then um, we can have that like another day. Um, and then that part's already done. So just put them between like wax paper. And... Yeah, I used to have to do this like at a job that I worked at and when I was doing it in between the wax paper, it was giving me like nostalgic vibes for that job, except a job wasn't that great. So yeah, I love cooking, but I find when you do something for a job that you love, you start to hate it. That's definitely what happened um, aside from some other things too, but I had we had got these like shoestring french fries too to like kind of imitate McDonald's fries. So I was cooking those in the air fryer. And they turned out so good. It had been quite a while since I made them. So John was um, still feeling really sick. So he was gonna sleep in the basement again. Um, and finally, after months and months and months, um, Amrelly has like made friends with John again. <laughs> she was like very avoidant towards him for a long time. I think because he's gone so much. Um, but so he had been home for a little while and finally she kind of made friends with him. It was really cute. She was up there on the, on the bed with him. But then as soon as I left, um, so I just was standing down there for a long time to let them have their moment. Cause as soon as I left, she followed me upstairs. So, um, yeah, I went upstairs and of course she followed me and then I had, um, not put my laundry away from earlier. So I was going to do that before. I went to bed and then Marley usually goes in and gets on this yellow blanket on the end of the bed to like let me know that she's ready for bed. <laughs> so <clears throat> I just went in there with her. I had the um the like salt lamp on. Such good vibes at night. So the next day, or it might have even been like two days, I don't know if I filmed every day, but uh, I feel like I usually have at least one day a week where I do a bunch of food prep and that was this day So while I was doing food prep, I was like snacking on raw vegetables and more of that dip I pretty much like have it in the fridge at all times now since I made that vintage dip recipe video Although I haven't had had it in the past week, but I've been craving it. So <laughs> it's probably soon time. But anyway, um I was making some tofu egg salad to have for lunches and I think I made garlic butter. I think that's why I was showing that. But I made an amazing discovery on this day. <laughs> um, I get these tin foil, um, like foil containers for doing like freezer meal prep and food prep. They come with these little lids, as you can see. Now I reuse them. You can't really reuse the lids, but I just cover them with tin foil. But I reuse the, like I wash them and reuse them for. A long long time I think they are meant to be disposable but um, we needed to get some new ones and I thought to myself I wonder if this smallest size will fit in the air fryer and it did and I'm so happy about this so I made this little mini version of the mac and cheese that I make and I just kind of eyeballed it and it turned out so amazing so I was just so beyond happy and then I was also making some cashew parm because we had been out for a little while and uh, we had gotten a bunch of cashews from the bulk store a couple weeks earlier. So I thought I would make a big batch of that. And then I also, I save all of my like bread ends and things and put them in the freezer. And then when I have enough, 
I'll make um, like croutons. And then I was craving cinnamon rolls for at least two years. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try making them today. I didn't know if my yeast was still good or not because it's been a while, but I had all this leftover cream cheese frosting from Easter that I was like, I need to do something with this. And I thought I should make the cinnamon rolls. So here's the mac and cheese. And then we were having leftover um, ham, the tofu ham from Easter. But I was like, whatever. I thought the yeast was dead for sure, but I was like, well, I'm just gonna leave them here and see if they rise. And they did, they turned out so good. I was so happy. But it, when I was making them, like I almost threw all of it away because I was like, I don't think this yeast is active. This just, this doesn't seem like it's going to, but I'm glad I just persevered. So uh, it's more icing than I would probably normally put, but I just wanted to use it all up. So it ended up being so good though and so satisfying. And then I went upstairs and I saw Marley was using the wrinkle in the blanket as a little pillow for her, <laughs> for her neck. It was so cute. She loves using blankets and things as pillows. She just, it must just be really comfortable for her. So she's always in odd positions. It's cute though. And uh, I think I had gone up to see if she was awake and wanted food because she'll go like, I don't know, three quarters of the day without eating. I think this is the next day or a couple of days later making coffee. I don't think it's the same day, uh, although maybe it's the afternoon. I'm not really sure because this is a couple of weeks ago and I didn't have like clear days I was vlogging, I don't think. Um... So anyway, I decided, because I used up the rest of that Thousand Island dressing, just to make some Big Mac sauce from scratch using these few ingredients. It's super easy. I don't ever really measure it. Um, but if you're curious, I think it's probably pretty easy to find online. But I did that first thing in the morning, I think, so that it would be ready. I had a cinnamon roll for breakfast. And then... Um, John wanted to play some video games, so I went downstairs with him and started playing. I used to love The Sims games, and he said that he had The Sims 4 for a console, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. I, I do still like it, but it's so intense, like it takes, I don't know, you can kill a lot of time very quickly. <laughs> anyway, we're having Big Macs again on this day. This must have been a weekend day if we were doing that. So we went downstairs and we we're watching a Bond movie while we ate our dinner that day. We've been watching the Bond movies, like we wanted to watch them all, but we started like years ago. So we've been trying to make our way through them. So we're at like the 90s ones now. Um, I think we have like one more with Pierce to watch and then like the newer ones. So we're, we're getting there, but I'm pretty sure we started in like back in 2019 or something. <laughs> And Marley came down with us, which was so cute because she got up on my lap, which she doesn't do that very often. She's kind of more like to the side and wants to be pet, but she doesn't like being picked up or getting on our laps or anything, but she does do it sometimes. And uh, yeah, I think that the Bond movies are pretty cheesy. I don't know if I'd watch them again. I just like the ones from like the 60s, which is pretty much like the only ones that I had seen before um, now, but John had really enjoyed the ones from the 90s like when they first came out so he was excited to be watching those again but after that um I think John was still sick actually <laughs> um so I was just uh slept alone in bed again so I was in there in the morning with Marley and she's so cute she just loves it um I don't know it's so cute so she ends up like falling to going to sleep and then I usually get out of bed and she just stays where she is. When I got up, I looked at the window and I seen that Loki was trying to climb the telephone pole. He didn't make it very far before he jumped down, but it was so cute. He is such an energetic cat. He is just like running all over the her yard and then also our yard. And every time we're outside now, he's always right there if he's outside. So cute. He's so friendly. So once John got up and had um, his 
we had our coffee. Uh, we had to get to like processing the rest of the clothing that we had got because we had got a ton and not finished it yet. And then I just got to like cleaning and stuff. And I think that night I made um, some just like ba really basic Alfredo, like where you just use the butter and cheese, pasta. Although I'm using spaghetti, not fettuccine, but I did have some green onion in the fridge that I wanted to use up. So. I did put that on there, and this is the first time I've made it, like, in this super basic way, but I actually really liked it, and it was so easy to make. I just did some garlic toast on the side, which was so good. And then first thing the next morning, I squeezed out tofu again because um, I wanted to make some tofu steaks with it. Um, and this was the day of the eclipse, I think, because um, I think that's what we had for dinner that night. So I um, squeezed out the tofu and then I made the marinade for that, which I also don't really measure, but it's like balsamic vinegar and uh, like a soy alternative sauce. I put some mustard in there, some garlic, and some like steak seasoning. So after a while, I think I left the tofu for a couple hours, but then I just cut it and put it in. And like the, like I said, the tofu is like a sponge. So I squeeze the water out and then it will soak up that marinade. So it's kind of cool in that way. I was very excited because it was a beautiful day this day. It's so funny that at the beginning of the vlog, it was snowing because this is like a beautiful day outside. I could not wait to get outside and get some things done so I was very excited I had this I love these like hats that I showed but this one has a hole in the top so I could put my ponytail through it but um before we went out I made some lunch just a little half egg salad sandwich made sure that Marley had some food to eat she's just like <laughs> I don't even know anyway like I was able to open up the windows and it was just it was so nice so it was garbage like we call it like heavy garbage cleanup here i think some people call it like junk garbage i don't know but it's basically where you can put out a bunch of things that you couldn't normally put out so we have this building that is filled with a bunch of things that we have to put away for the winter like my retro bike that i've still not learned how to drive again <laughs> um but i was getting out all of the furniture for um, the deck. Oh, I was so happy this day. <laughs> it was so nice out and I was so excited that we were getting all this stuff done. And of course, Loki was over here running around with us. He was like running in the building. It was so cute. I was listening to some Fleetwood Mac. I love their greatest hits CD. I listened to that so much, but we have this like sectional couch. So we got that out and set up. And um, I had forgot that I had thrifted these pillows um, I think I got them at a yard sale, but I think it was really late in the year, like maybe September. Some of you might remember, but I had forgot about them. So, um, they were, it, the tag says 20, but I think I only paid 10 for the both of them. So got those out and then Loki discovered the couch, which is very cute. <laughs> He's so friendly. Um, he was having a great time on a little like fake grass. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was so, so nice on this day. I think, um, I, man, I was sad though at the same time. Like I just kept thinking about Jimmy, but, um, I saw that message on the back of the tag. I was like, okay, it's fine. Um, I had this little, like, I don't know what it's called exactly, but I wanted to trim this bush down because whenever I hang out the laundry, it always kind of like goes up against it but I I did make a little progress but I think I need to get a much bigger thing to use to to just like make it a lot smaller but yeah I have not I don't know I haven't ridden a bike since I was a kid <laughs> and I definitely don't feel that confident I also need to get a helmet but um this was the day of the eclipse so I got these glasses from Amazon <laughs> and we were like joking about whether or not they were actually um, you know, like, are we going to go blind using these? Because, like, I just got them from Amazon. They might not even be legit. Um, but John, I think, had looked the brand up and he felt confident. So we, lo we looked. I, I don't know. It wasn't a total 
eclipse here where we live and I've definitely seen better eclipses than that one so whatever I made some cookies and then I was just making us an easy um dinner because the eclipse was starting around the time of supper so the cookies turned out really good they're like peanut butter chocolate chip and then yeah so I just made some cauliflower and broccoli and fries in the air fryer and some of the tofu steaks the next day unfortunately I was not feeling very well so I was in bed for half the day and then around lunchtime I got up and I made some peanut butter toast and then I felt a little better so I came downstairs and I had a coffee um, but I still wasn't feeling like 100% but I didn't want to lay in bed anymore so I just went upstairs and I ended up um, putting on some general hospital and I think I was doing like maybe a little organizing while I was sitting down but it was another beautiful day and I got up to go downstairs and I looked in the room and I could see Marley in here just enjoying the sun. Um, this is like her favorite, this is probably her absolute favorite thing in life is when the it gets warmer and the sun comes in like this. She's always laying on the end of the bed and usually comes in in the afternoon so it was so cute she was just she was so warm when I touched her though it was crazy so the next morning um the previous night we had gone out like after John got off work we had gone out to do some errands and to source for clothing um and we had picked up a few things too so got some like onions and potatoes and we'd also gone to the mall because uh, there's a mall where we went uh, we don't have a mall and we went to we found this popcorn which is really good we're like eating it on the way home in the car because we had to drive for a little over an hour to get to where we were going but it was another beautiful day so I was having a bagel for breakfast these little thin gluten-free bagels are so good um, so I was having that for breakfast and then I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to get done that day and it was just so beautiful and I was feeling much better, which is really nice. So every like week or so I take these Pyrex things off the stove and like deep clean the stove top and then I also wash those, how to get the water changed. John has to do that though because it's like so heavy um and we had got some like toilet paper and paper towel and cat litter there was just like a bunch of stuff that whenever I feel sick and I like can't do any housework even though it's like only a day I don't know why but my brain like can't deal with it and the next day that I feel better I feel like I need to do a million things to make up for the day that I didn't do anything but this was the popcorn it's only $3.99 for this massive bag but at the mall I also got a new shelf for the living room um I had seen it the last time we were in that area which is about a month ago and I thought oh I bet you that would be better so I thrifted this one which I do still like and I might use somewhere else in the house but it can't handle a lot of weight like I feel like it'll fall I just I don't feel super confident about it it's like homemade so I don't I'm like scared to put vintage things on it. It's just like becoming this thing. So <laughs> I'm swapping those out. And then I just got carried away and I was like, you know what? I should just spring clean the whole living room today. I was like very gung ho. So you can see I'm trying to, I think, show you that like not a lot of weight and it feels like it's gonna fall or something or break. And anyway, I just figured it was better to get the new shelf. So I thought putting up a new shelf I may as well change the furniture around I don't know I feel like this is a so my grandma is like this too where she's like just constantly changing the furniture around and she would uh she would always tell these stories about how my grandpa would go to work and he would come home from work and like the whole house would be changed around and she's telling these stories like in front of John and the whole time John's looking at me like okay I see where you get it now because that happens all the time I don't know I just I get bored with things the same way but I did find this little panda that uh, goes over the cords because I always show how my cords are like frayed and they shock me but I don't know I just keep using them anyway but now I've got the panda to protect myself because that cord shocks me almost daily um 
yeah so anyway I was very excited to get the new shelf up and then I was thinking about how I wanted to change the furniture around and it was a nice day and I, I was just so happy and so happy that I felt better So I was taking everything down off the shelf and I have these photo cubes. I actually got these from Amazon. I do have a vintage one though as well. That's what inspired me to see if they still made them. I feel like these are really popular in the 70s, but I actually don't have them filled. Like there's a bunch of empties, so that's also on the list for this year. But um, this is me with uh, Mer me with Dylan and John with Marley at Christmas time. Um, but then I just, I have a lot of nature scenes so this is like where we used to live we used to go for a walk and this is like our view which is so incredible so I have a lot of I think I might even have them printed off but I just never filled them all in I don't know but I thought doing like nature scenes would be cool so this is like a beach that is at a campground that I grew up going camping with my grandparents and then I took John there in I think 2017 because it's so amazing and uh, it's like this hidden gem, I feel like. And I took that. And then this is hard to tell, but this is actually like ice from the ocean. Um, like in the very background, that's the ocean. But all of those pieces are ice. And just for reference, that's John sitting on top of it. See, so just for reference of like how big it is. We were driving um, home from my grandma's house uh, and we noticed it and there was a bunch of people stopped taking photos. I was like, oh, we should take a photo of that. And then there was people climbing on top of it. So I was like, oh, you should go down and I'll take your picture. So it's kind of a fun memory. Um, but also I was trying to work on the entryway as well on the same day because this picture had fallen down and then it had knocked the shelf partially down. So I, I was very gung-ho on this day, but I did not finish it all this day. But I wanted to move the TV which meant I had to move all of these like components from this shelf and put them on top of the TV because the shelf wouldn't be next to the TV where I was moving it to. And since it's a 40 year old TV, um, it needs a lot to like, I've, I use it as a smart TV now, so you can see all the cords and things down here which um, I wasn't super excited about having to move that, but I really wanted to move the TV to a different place. So I got to work getting all of that and ended up just being a big nest on top of the TV, which I was like, oh, this is going to take me a long time. But um, obviously I don't get back there on the regular. So the baseboards were pretty dusty, but I love this little tool for cleaning the baseboards just gets them uh, all the dust up really quickly so you don't have to get down on your hands and knees and you know so uh I did that I love doing like all the kind of decluttering stuff in the winter months so then when the weather gets nice I can just do the actual like deep cleaning um so I wanted to move the tv in front of the window so we had uh, the orange chair there we decided to put in the basement, but then um, now that the weather's finally nice, I was able to take the plastic off of the window. So the windows in the house are from the 80s. I think my dad said that's when they replaced them. Um, so, I mean, we're looking at like 40-year-old windows, so they need to be replaced, but it's obviously an expensive thing. So we've just been doing, like, like last year we did one. So we just put... Um, plastic over them as a way to like um help with your heating bill anyway I was once I got the shelf down I noticed there was a bunch of marks on the wall too so I took a magic eraser and did that and then I'm gonna have to like take out those screws and fill in the holes but just taking the plastic off the windows raised the temperature by two degrees like almost instantly as soon as I was ripping it off I could feel the heat like blasting that was trapped between the window and the plastic but I was so excited. One of the main reasons I wanted to move the TV was so that um, Marley could have access to the window, but basically <laughs> this was a lot. <laughs> I like using these. I think they're meant for the floor, like a Swiffer or something, but I like using them with electronics because it gets the dust and stuff off. So all of the cords had dust on them. So I took, I actually spent a really long time getting everything untangled and all of that. So it took probably over an hour but I got it all done. It looks great. So then I stopped to 
have a sandwich for lunch. I was feeling really good about it though. Then I made myself a coffee, an afternoon coffee after that, but I would got the TV all set up and got the window open. And as soon as Marley heard me open the window, she ran in. So it's perfect for her because she can use that little camel to like jump up in the window. Um, since she's older, like she probably could jump from the floor, but she, I've noticed that in the last couple years, she hesitates a lot more when she's, um, jumping. So she likes being able to use that to get up, but she was so happy. I didn't even actually get a chance to like wipe out the window in there before she just jumped up, but I just left her there. But normally if the window's open for any period of time, I have a little blanket that I'll put up in there in case she wants to kind of lay down in there. But she was very excited that her little spot was open again. I am slightly concerned about Loki um, potentially jumping up on the outside. So I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but we had to go out and do some errands. So we went to the thrift store on our way. But this is, I feel like I always mention this store. So John had just run in, so I thought I would show you. But it's like a hardware store, but it's more than just hardware stuff in there. It's sort of almost like department store. But they also have a garden center, which um, I don't know if it's open or not yet, but I was thinking maybe I should go there and see if I can get some plants. But And then once we got home, I just took a shower right away. I got in pajamas, went in my office, and watched an episode of General Hospital before bed. Marley was in there uh, hanging out with me. She's so cute. <laughs> and I was wearing my Hello Kitty sweater. This is the first time I'd worn it. And like I said, it is a little bit big, but it's fine for just wearing around the house anyway. It's extra cozy, but it's not like a super thick sweater. So that's why I thought it would be perfect. So yeah, we just did that and then went to bed. So I did continue working on the living room, but I just decided to cut the video here. I felt like it was a good place to end it. So uh, I'll probably post another vlog on Sunday, kind of um, sharing the rest of the living room and all that. I, I wanted to sleep on a decision before I made it regarding the living room. So uh, that's another reason why I didn't finish it in that entire video. But I'm so happy the weather is nicer. It's like, uh, it's just, it's just such a nice thing when, uh, like, I, I'm not a person that even minds winter, but I guess because we have winter here, like, you appreciate when the weather gets nice again so much more than, like, if you lived somewhere where the weather was not such extreme differences. Anyway, I will stop rambling now, and, uh, yeah, so Sunday's video, I think, will be another vlog, and then hopefully I'll end up being like more caught up <laughs> just so that where I didn't post for a while but anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon